We're going to receive a classified briefing on TikTok today ahead of a vote tomorrow on a bill that would ban the app in the U.S. unless it cuts ties with its Chinese owner. Brooke Singman is here with more. Hi, Brooke. Hi, guys. Yeah, I'm told that TikTok CEO Xu Chu will be on Capitol Hill at some point midweek. Now, his visit to Washington comes as officials from the FBI, DOJ, and the intelligence community are set to give a classified briefing to lawmakers on TikTok today ahead of that House vote tomorrow. Now, the bill would require ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, to separate from TikTok within six months of the bill's enactment, or it would be banned in the United States. Now, lawmakers are explaining just how dangerous the app really is. Listen. It's literally reading your mind. The more you use it, the more it knows about you. The problem is not that TikTok has that. The problem is that ByteDance and their engineers in China are the ones that own that artificial intelligence. And no matter where you put my data or anybody, I don't use TikTok, but people that use TikTok, no matter where you store that data, you could store it in a safe in the United States. Those engineers in China have to have access to the data, but they control the brain of TikTok. They control that artificial intelligence. And lawmakers are also demanding TikTok stop trying to manipulate Americans after users received this message asking them to call Congress and tell them to vote no on this bill. House Select Committee on the CCP Chairman and Ranking Member Mike Gallagher and Raja Krishnamoorthy, who introduced this bill, said in a letter to TikTok CEO, quote, TikTok's deceptive pop-up pressured its users to lobby Congress on TikTok's behalf to stop a TikTok shutdown. The future of TikTok rests squarely in the hands of of TikTok and ByteDance. Now, President Biden has said he will support the bill if Congress sends it to his desk. It's Guys, getting real. Brooke, thank you so much. Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek is one of the original co-sponsors of the TikTok bill and joins us now. Congresswoman, good morning to you. A, a bit of an added layer of drama here with the CEO of TikTok headed to Capitol Hill later this week. Do you think that he's going to try and convince lawmakers to vote against this bill? And if so, what's going to happen to the vote? Well, good morning. And yes, he is headed to Capitol Hill. He is going to try to <clears throat> convince lawmakers that we should not force a divestiture. But I don't think he will be successful because they're proving our point for us. Not only is the CEO of TikTok coming to Capitol Hill, but they have unleashed record-breaking number of lobbyists. And they're spending untold amounts of cash to try to keep this application going. Now, the, the, the total jig was up when the CCP themselves, the Politburo, and their state-owned media started pushing out reports talking about how we needed to keep TikTok in America. Now, if TikTok is divested from ByteDance, they stand to make billions of dollars. So in the face of a windfall of billions of dollars, you see the CCP is more concerned with keeping content creators as foot soldiers mm -hmm for the CCP rather than making a ton of cash. Any other company would be all in on wanting to get a big payday, but we see that the jig is up. This is all about unfettered access to American data. And I'll tell you, I wouldn't want my government having unfettered access to my data or big tech. So why the heck would I allow the CCP to? Congressman, Makes that no sense. is the key point that is getting obscured in all this. China is going to turn down $160 billion on this sale because they don't care about the money. They want the access to Americans. Remember, there's no TikTok in China. That just shows you what they really think of this app. That said, there are a lot of outraged TikTokers who Young use people. the app to uh, tell people that they're mad. Watch. Guys, if you haven't called your representatives, call your representatives. There's so many small businesses on here. People are surviving off this app. I called my representative and I was like, hey, I'm calling to stop the ban on TikTok. I will financially drown without this app, okay? Ban TikTok and you're banning financial security for mothers. The thousands and millions of people that use this app every day to improve themselves, to generate income, you need to call your representative and tell them do not ban TikTok. Congresswoman, you're banning financial security for mothers. Your response, you have 30 seconds. <laughs> well, in our office, 80% of the calls we've received have been from people under the age of 18, and most of them are in class while they're calling and crying about TikTok.
But for those that are on the app that make a living as an influencer, like any good business owner, diversify. You would never want to be reliant on a single source of income, especially one that is controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. And let us not forget, they themselves censor content on TikTok regularly that they don't like. So I think that this, the writing is on the wall. This is going to fly through Congress. Biden will sign it. Wow. And at that point, I think TikTokers will find that yeah. maybe life's a little bit better without the CCP breathing down well, their neck. This is a vote that a lot of young people are going to watch. C-SPAN and the news networks are going to get a whole new set of young vo viewers, which is which is probably good. Get off your phones and sit in front of the TV watch and watch the, the news. news like normal kids. Congresswoman, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you.